Hi, I'm Harry Fordham, New Farming Technologies Lead here at Syngenta. Hi, I'm Michael Tate, Technical Manager for Potatoes and Veg at Syngenta. And we are here at the Europeans Trial Site 2020 in Derbyshire. Today we're looking at two of the trials we've been running to see how they've been getting along so far. The first of which focuses on the intrinsic activity of fungicides. We're comparing a number of commonly used blight products to see how they work throughout the season. The second trial is looking at farm scale application and how we can vary nozzle selection throughout the season. We're also going to look at the benefits of adding a drift retardant to Revis throughout the blight spraying programme. We are looking at these two trials specifically because how you apply a product can be as important as the product selection itself. In the intrinsic trial, we're looking to see whether we can show again the benefit of using Revus with a drift retardant. We also want to see how mandipropamid is performing in combination with other active ingredients and also see how our products are performing relative to those of the competitors. Last year was a proof of concept to see how well drift reduction nozzles work during a blight spray programme. And today at this trial, what we're looking at is trying to further cement our recommendation that the 3D90 is a great option for growers going forward. So let's start by taking a look at some of the standout plots in the intrinsic activity trial. So to help you get your eye in, we're going to start with the untreated plot here. And as you can see, the blight has taken hold extensively and it will not be long now before all of the foliage is destroyed. The first part I want to show you today is Revis. This really is what we regard as the standard. It's our standard product. It's a well-respected product in the marketplace. And it's the measure against which we assess other products in this trial. Next up, we've got Revis in combination with the drift retardant. We've looked at using Revis in a number of trials with a drift retardant and we've consistently seen good results from doing this. And this plot is no exception. Once again, we've got very good blight control and there is a benefit compared to just using Rebus on its own. As well as being used as a straight product, mandipropamid is also used in combination. And one of the combinations that we have in this trial is with diphenaconazole, and this is the product M4+. It performed very well last year in this trial, and again, the plot's looking very good this season. Looking forward in a situation where Mancazeb perhaps exits the market next year, the importance of this product will grow because it will give good activity, not only against late blight, but also against Dalton area. The last treatment I'm going to share with you is Valbon. I've included this one because it's the most directly related to Revis within this trial, where we have a number of other competitor products. And the performance here is a bit behind Revis, which is what we saw last year and tallies with our general experimentation on these two products. So Michael's trials are looking really good and it's great to see such strong performance from Revis. But what's the best way to apply Revis in a farm scale environment? In this trial, we're looking at a range of nozzles applying Revis both with and without drift retardant. Firstly, let's look at the untreated plots. This is an inoculated trial and you can see the blight has progressed through the plant very, very quickly. Now this has been applied with the Syngenta potato nozzle. As you know, it'll alternate forward and backwards across the boom. However, it offers no drift reduction whatsoever. And as I said earlier, we're trying to look at whether our drift reduction nozzles offer control as good as this Syngenta potato nozzle. Now this plot has been applied with the Leckler ID3 nozzle. The ID3 is a 90% drift reduction nozzle. As a result, it has slightly coarser droplets, but as I said, we get that drift reduction capability from it. Now this plot here has been applied with the Syngenta brand new 3D90 nozzle. It's an angled nozzle, alternating forward and backward across the boom, but importantly, offering that 90% drift reduction capability. We're seeing really, really good results with this nozzle in terms of blight control, not only last year, but this year, from what I'm seeing visually, it looks very encouraging. This is the result of four years hard work trying to get a good nozzle that doesn't compromise on efficacy, but guarantees drift reduction for our operators and farmers. So far, so good. 
The trials are progressing really nicely and as expected, the 3D90 nozzle is outperforming the others. And I think that success is mirrored in the intrinsic trial, where again, the performance of Revis is improved through the use of the drift retardant. It's much as we expected, but it's certainly nice to have a chance to reinforce last year's data. There's a little way to go to the end of the season yet, at which point it'll be great to review the data and share the results with you all. Further information will be available at the forthcoming Potato Science Live meetings, and you can follow our progress at syngenta.co.uk.